I'm at UF Health Proton Therapy Institute with Dr. Raymond Mayo, and we're talking about adv advancements in breast cancer treatments. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here, it's I, an honor. I can't wait to learn more. So first question, what new developments are you seeing in terms of breast cancer treatment? So that's an excellent question. I think the most important thing is to consider that about 200,000 people get diagnosed a year, or one out of eight women. And so in order, if we're talking about some type of treatment, the, the first thing that we need to do is personalize it. Mm -hmm. So the big evolution that we've seen over the last decades is not a one size fits all cate category of treatment, right. because that wouldn't be fair, but really how do we treat the individual patient in front of us? Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want a customized, you know, personalized approach? Yes. You kind of need that, right? What about advancements in radiotherapy specifically? That's even more important, because I think for a lot of people, radiation can be a black box. People might know family members, I've had surgery themselves, I've had my wisdom teeth removed. Yeah. You see chemotherapy in like, you know, movies, TV shows, but right. radiation is a little more mysterious. So I think historically, radiation treatments, everyone was treated the same way for about five weeks. But now we can understand as opposed to treating not only the breast or the chest wall, and there's also lymph nodes nearby. Right. In some cases, you only need to treat the area of the tumor. Or in some cases, you might benefit from a different type of radiation, like proton therapy. Well, let's talk about that then. Why would that be something that somebody would want to choose over the, the old method, I guess? So I'm so glad you asked, because this <laughs> is actually what I bring for my patients. Um, so conventional radiation that's actually used to treat cancer uses x-rays. So if you've ever had an x-ray or a CAT scan, right. that's the same thing. It's just at a higher energy. Okay. And x-rays and CAT scans work for us to be able to see the muscles, to see the bones, because x-rays pass straight through something. So let's say that this is a person, and the blue is the tumor, and that's the area that we want to treat. But the yellow is the example of something like the heart or the brain stem are an important organ that we want to avoid. That's very nearby. Correct. Okay. And when we think of the breast cancer, especially on the left side, you can think that the heart is on the left side of the chest, mm -hmm. and we want to try to protect this as much as possible. So with conventional radiation, if we were to go in a straight line, we're doing our job by, in order, by delivering radiotherapy to the actual tumor, but behind it, what we want to do is minimize the radiation to that highlighter, which is the heart. Charged particles, to go back to physics in high yeah. school, is, are a little different. So the way that they behave is they don't go straight through, but they go a certain distance. So you do have the ability in order to deposit the radiation where you want, but the big difference is in order to minimize the radiation to healthy organs like the heart behind it. Yeah, that sounds great. So when does someone choose a method like this for treatment in terms of breast cancer? So, excellent question. We particularly see benefits whenever we need to treat, you know, patients who have tumors on the left side, any times that we need to do comprehensive treatment involving lymph nodes. But I think the most important thing is to ask your physician if you're undergoing this or if you're advocating right. for someone, is this something that might benefit me or my loved one? And with, with patients you've worked with before, what type of results are you seeing? Excellent question, because we always want to ground any type of recommendation we're giving in evidence and what's been published. Right. So I do have the luxury of being at the oldest uh, Southeast Proton Center in, within the United States. And so we have uh, years and years of research of our own experience treating right. thousands of patients. And what about certain types of breast cancer? Does it cover all of it? So good question. I think, you know, there's specific, uh, technically not only breast cancer, but we do treat a lot of other malignancies. Um, you know, pediatric cancers, brain cancers, prostate cancers. I, I also specialize in lymphomas. So okay. I think, again, another recommendation I would provide for any patient or any loved one who's trying to advocate for their patient, it, it always helps to ask for an opinion. Is this something that could help me? Is this something that could help my loved one? And maybe people have never even heard this before, and now they have the tools and resources. It, Thank you so much for telling us all about it. I mean, it's very impressive. Thank you for providing awareness. I think that's the most important thing. Yeah, of course. And if you'd like to see this segment again, you know, you can head to our website at firstcoastliving.net.